Hello friends, welcome to another episode of my talks. These are on sleep. Uh, as you guys may have seen so far, I talked about the importance of sleep uh, in our population. I talked about the different stages of sleep and what characterizes them throughout our lifespan, as well as I discussed uh, sleep and cardiovascular disease, sleep and the immune system, and sleep and cancer so far. The next thing I wanted to talk about, which is not so life-threatening and concerning in, uh, at first glance at least, but it's something that I think a lot of us, it'll hit home for a lot of us. Especially the people that are concerned, bodybuilders that are concerned with their virility or their uh, uh, women that are concerned with their fertility, which is sleep's effect on hormones. See, uh, people, many, many people don't realize how important quality of sleep and duration of sleep is for our ability to procreate as well as for our ability to have uh, sufficient levels of hormones that we want in our body like testosterone. 24 hours of sleep deprivation will reduce your salivary testosterone by almost 30%, 27%. And that's huge in one day. Uh, so you can imagine what happens with long-term chronic uh, sleep deprivation. In fact, men who sleep five hours or less uh, in general have usually testosterone levels that are reflective of people 10 years older than them. So as you guys know, testosterone levels decrease as we age from our 20s to our 30s to our 40s to our 50s and so on. Um, if you are sleeping five hours or so every night, you probably have the testosterone you should have had 10 years later. You have it now. So it's actually aging you in terms of your hormones by 10 years. It also has, first of all, people who sleep five hours or less in general, men who sleep five hours or less have smaller testicles, but their sperm is of much worse quality. Specifically, sleep scientists have found that people who sleep five hours or less tend to have uh, fewer sperm. So sperm, by the way, when we, talk, when we talk about it, let me just introduce you guys for those of you that haven't uh, studied this. Sperm is generally graded according to its uh, quantity, like how much sperm you have, as well as its motility, which is how it moves and how uh, capable it is, as well as its morphology. Morphology is the shape of the sperm. So some sperm can be deformed and stuff like that. So men who sleep five hours or less tend to have less sperm, and their sperm has... Um, issues with the morphology, like basically two things actually, specifically, they're deformed and they have genetic problems within them. Now this is very concerning because for example, some people will tell me, hey, uh, Leo, I don't want to take an SSRI because I heard SSRIs affect sperm morphology. This is true, but they don't affect uh, the genetic, they don't change the genes of the uh, sperm themselves. Sleeping less does. So that's how serious that is. And, and for women, it has similar effects as well. For example, with women, it reduces their follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, uh, up to 20%. And they experience like 30% increases in irregular menstrual cycles when women that are sleeping five hours or less. Um, it also reduces their luteinizing hormone, which is called LH. These are things you'll see on your blood test if you're a woman, your FSH and your LH. So if you're a woman and you're trying to get pregnant, one of the first things that you can do is start sleeping the recommended amount, which is if you're an adult, seven to eight hours. Sleep at the right time as well. And if you're a man that cares about your testosterone or your virility, you might want to first look at your sleep before uh, considering supplements and other things like that. And, and another thing to consider is this as well. As you age, as we mentioned before, your sleep gets uh, lower in duration, worse in terms of its continuity, and it changes in terms of its character and specifically you get less non-REM sleep as you age. Um, a personal theory, I have no proof of this, is that the non-REM sleep is particularly, the deep non-REM sleep is particularly important for hormones. So, uh, I, for example, someone who comments on the channel uh, mentioned that his father is having uh, low testosterone in his 50s. And this is a multifactorial thing. The solution is not just to take a supplement or to have a more active social life, which are things that will affect testosterone, but also finding out how to hack your sleep so that you sleep longer, more consistently, at the right times, and deeper. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, enable notifications, and visit my website, leonlongevity.com. Thank you.